Let's take a look at the broad economic scenario within Mauritius right now because, as I said earlier, we saw the country come through, or the central bank come through, with a surprise interest rate hike on Monday. Your reading of the macroeconomic picture? That's true. We were all taken aback when uh, the central bank uh, actually raised uh, the repo rate uh, by 0.25% to 5.5%. Uh, it must be highlighted that uh, it wasn't a unanimous decision. It was just taken by a majority of, of the board members, which means that you had other members which were against this uh, hike in repo rate. But when you take everything into perspective, the reasons given behind this uh, decision was mainly on the back that global recovery seems to be uh, on target for this year. We expect uh, our economic growth to be somewhat around 4.5, 4.6%. However, on the other hand, we've got some uh, pressure on, on hiking prices. And we at Axis, we forecast probably inflation uh, for the calendar year, headline inflation that is, mm -hmm. to be uh, peaking to about 7 or 8%. So if you take everything into perspective, I think uh, the hike interest rates could have been uh, taken some more time but it was just a decision that was taken based on inflationary rather than economic growth. The trade-off always that the decision had to be taken. Of course, just looking at some of the factors taken into consideration, their order books of export sectors are full, and then we've got tourist arrivals expected to be higher as well. Let's take a look at implications of that specifically with regards to Air Mauritius, because we're anticipating its results are being released uh, tomorrow. That's right, Air Mauritius. Uh, the good news with Air Mauritius is now that the hedging losses are behind them, for good it seems. They've come up with some new strategies. Uh, they're expected to release their accounts tomorrow with, after two years of being loss-making, uh, actually posting a PAT, profit after tax, this year. Uh, we've seen that in the nine months accounts, very encouraging. When you look at the bookings in Air Mauritius, when you look at the fleet management, when you look at the strategy they've taken, uh, investors have been very bullish. And even yesterday and this morning as well, we see the market uh, on Air Mauritius being very, very strong with uh, a lot of activity and volumes being traded on Air Mauritius. Of course, uh, when it comes to airlines globally, one of the, the big Achilles heels or factors to consider in a negative light is the fact that we've had that oil price sitting pretty stubborn above uh, $100 a barrel and that uh, proving to be uh, much of a hindrance in terms of keeping costs down. Just how much of a challenge has that been uh, for Air Mauritius and to what extent have they mitigated against that using possible hedging strategies? Rightly so. The, the price of oil uh, always hovering around $100 a barrel seems to be a major problem for not only Air Mauritius but each and every airline. But what we've learned in Air Mauritius is that the hedging that they made in 2007 and 2008, which hurt them quite a bit, they seem to have taken a better uh, view of, of, uh, in their hedging losses with some exit closes. However, we must mention the fact that tourist arrivals this year in the low season seems to be much lesser than last year. So passenger traffic has, has, is going to fall in, in our low season, which is from June to September. And Mauritius has accordingly uh, reviewed all their, their fleet management. They've reduced their flights uh, in some sectors, and they've increased in other sectors whereby it's been working well. They've reduced flights, for example, to South Africa and India, but they've been increasing in Europe which is uh, where, where we see the, the, the traffic increasing. So I think the fuel price definitely is a problem for them, just as it is for any other airline, but they, they, they're managing it rather well, I must say. Well, on the banking front, we've got Mauritius Commercial Bank uh, really uh, standing in the spotlight. We've seen some bullish movement on that share price and on that on the back of the fact that we're expecting higher dividends to be paid out as well. What are your expectations in that regard? Very much so. You would probably recall uh, the last time we had a chat was M um, sorry, MCB declared some very strong profitability based on the fact that they had two exceptional items, which was uh, the case against Mauritius Union Insurance and the sale of a hotel in Seychelles. When you take, into, when you take that in and you put it in the balance sheet, you look at the cash flow MCB, you look at the profitability, they expect to post some record profits of 4.5 billion rupees we would expect higher dividends. We would even probably uh, be generous by saying that dividends are going to be increasing by 10% compared to last year. 
which is what gives a very good support on MCB. And you've seen foreigners as well joining in the market and being very interested and giving good support on MCB lately.